Hey, Shad here with Speed Addicts, the fast growing gear site on the web. And today we're gonna uncreate the Scorpion XO Covert 2. What's up, Speed Addicts fam? Before we jump into the latest and greatest from Scorpion XO, do us both a favor. Subscribe to that Speed Addicts channel. You know you want to, that way you're gonna be educated. You're gonna be up to date on the latest parts and gear. We're always working hard here to give you that first look and help you make excellent buying decisions here at speedaddicts.com. And if you would like to support us, we really do appreciate that around here. There's a link in the description below. that will get you right over the full selection of the brand new Scorpion XO Covert 2 helmets at speedaddicts.com. Okay, here we have it. Brand new from Scorpion XO, a leader in helmets with attitude. They make not only helmets, they do make gear kind of head to toe. But the Covert Helmet Series has been a a crowning achievement. We'll call it a crowning achievement. We're talking about helmets here for Scorpion XO. Very popular helmet over the year years, and there's actually been three of them. So this name is kind of misleading Covert 2. There's actually been three. Here are the three amigos. Let's bring them in here. Okay, on my right, the original Covert. On my left, the Covert X, which I would really probably call the Covert 2, but they didn't. They called it the Covert X. And then in the middle, the brand new Covert Two is an interesting category of helmet in that it is a uh, it's a modular, but not in the same way as a typical flip up. The muzzle or the chin bar is removable on the covert series, and it's always got this unmistakable covert attitude. So this helmet really is about looking the part and giving you the flexibility of different riding modalities here with and without that chin bar. Now the old coverts, the covert or covert one, the OG over here, and the covert X were actually three helmets in one. So they were trying to do a lot here. Um, and most people either wore it in the full face configuration with the muzzle on, or they wore it with the muzzle off. They never took off this third part, which turned it into a half shell. That's the three in one thing. Now, once Scorpion figured that out, they said, why are we making the helmet more complicated than it needs to be? And it also opens up some vulnerabilities in terms of safety. Anytime you put, anytime you put seams in a shell or in the EPS line, our seams are bad for absorbing energy. So they said, let's ditch that three in one thing. Let's go to two in one. This is what most of our customers are using the helmet for, either the full face or the three quarter configuration. Okay, let's move the old covert out of the way for a minute. So that's what we have here. Now, don't get confused. This muzzle is essentially only to catch debris on the road, maybe rocks or bugs, and keep some wind off your face. It's not providing real impact protection. Now, the original was made out of rubber, and it was quite, quite flexible. The new Covert 2 has a polycarbonate muzzle, and it's going to hold up better to debris and that sort of thing, but there's no EPS on the inside of it. So it's not going to be as strong or provide real impact protection. And that's the main trade-off you're gonna make if you go with a covert as opposed to a traditional full face helmet. Now, if you want that full face protection and and the other thing about these helmets is they tend to leak a little bit more air. I'll get, get into that more in a minute. If you want the full face helmet experience from Scorpion, go with the covert FX been out for about a year now and that helmet is great if you want that traditional type of full face but if you want a helmet with a little bit more attitude a little bit more versatility then you're going to go for the covert series now besides this muzzle change up and that design and going from that three in one to the two in one the the overall formula the look of it and the experience is pretty similar in this new covert too the first thing you're going to notice is that the muzzle design is a little bit more aggressive it's updated the inside of the muzzle is actually finished off better. I'll show you that in a minute. And the vent on the muzzle is actually switchable now. So you can turn this off and on, whereas on the Covert Original and the Covert FX over here, the muzzle was always on. So one of their focuses here was to try to keep more air from flowing through the helmet because these tend to leak a little bit more air than a traditional full face like I was getting at before. And allowing that vent to be open and closed helps. But at the end of the day, the way this helmet is put together, it's still going to leak some air. So if you're sensitive to that, then look at that Covert FX, like I said before, a little bit of air is not gonna bother you, and maybe you even like the added ventilation, then the Covert 2 is not a bad choice. Now, they have the same kind of ventilation package up in the top. 
the EPS is channeled and ported. We'll show you more on that in a minute. But the other comparison as we move around the back, doesn't really show you much that's different. We're missing that seam like we had on the old coverts here. And it's actually gonna make it easier for communication kits. We'll show you that in, in the inside too. They have a speaker pocket now. So that was a big thing on the covert. And the covert um, X is that comm systems were not easily uh, installed. Covert 2, they've solved for that. Lots of riders using those these days. And as we turn all the way to the back, very similar design here. They want to keep it simple, keep it looking classic and aggressive. And that's exactly what they've done. So that is your comparison there. If you want to see it next to the Covert FX, or sorry, the Covert X, uh, that is the comparison here. The muzzles are not interchangeable between these helmets. So if you have an old muz muzzle from, uh, or chin bar, uh, if you were uh, from like the Covert, original Covert or Covert X, and it has a design on it. They had some bandana ones, some handprint ones. If you want to try to install that in your Covert 2, you're not going to be able to do that. I did check that out because I know people asked before if they were interchangeable. They are not. Okay, so that's how these look. In, in terms of the size difference you're seeing here, this is a medium, this is an extra large. Uh, the size and the weight is pretty much identical across all three of them. So no real difference there. That's just a size thing. Uh, because this one has to fit my fat head so you guys can see what it looks like on top of my noggin. Okay, let's back it up and talk about the price tag. They've done a good job of keeping the pricing under control. So this thing's still gonna run about 200 bucks, 209 to 214, depending on the finish. At the moment that we're launching, we have matte black, gloss black, the cement gray, like this one, I think it's back there, and uh, and then white, okay? I imagine they're gonna run out um, or come out with some things in terms of graphics, things that are a little bit more interesting as they go on. This is a polycarbonate shell, okay? It's gonna weigh about three and a quarter pounds depending on what size you're gonna purchase, and that is with the chin bar or the muzzle attached. In terms of safety, you're gonna get DOT rating on this, and the other thing that they've improved is the fit. So the older coverts all fit a little bit round, and they tended to hit people just a touch in the forehead who had intermediate oval-shaped heads, which is most of you folks in the US watching this video right now. So if you tried the old coverts in the past and the fit kind of ruled you out, then you can try again with the covert two. I agree with what Scorpion is saying there. It fit me much better than the old ones, which tend to hit me in the forehead. So intermediate whole oval head shape was great for me. Um, in terms of the overall size run, it's going to run true. So go buy that Scorpion sizing chart at speedaddicts.com. If you're not sure, and talk to our rider support team, they're experts on helmet fitment, and they're gonna help you find the right size. Otherwise, you shouldn't have any surprises. Go buy that sizing chart and you'll be dialed in. Now, in case it doesn't work out and you shop at Speed Addicts, remember, we're gonna cover you with no cost returns. That's right, we're not gonna nickel and dime you on that return shipping label. We're just gonna hand one over to you, get the helmet back, get a different size, get a different color, or just something completely different, your money back, whatever you need, we're gonna treat you like family. So buy your next helmet with us, we'll hook you up to qualify. Lower 48 states only, and you need to make sure the gear is brand new in the original package, and it makes it real easy on us. Try it on at home, get on the couch, watch some TV for a few minutes, make sure it fits you before you jump on the bike, because once you splatter bugs on it, it's yours. Okay, back to the helmet. Talked a little bit about the ventilation. It is limited here, but you do have that chin bar and this top vent. By limited, I just mean it doesn't have exhaust on the rear, kind of like a more high performance sport helmet, but you get enough to get by and the EPS is channeled and ported. So the ventilation should not be an issue. And at the end of the day, you can always pop off this chin bar and get some more wind in your face. Now you notice these open holes right here. One of the things they're gonna include in the package, yes, you get the clear, yes, you get the smoke installed. Now in the package, they're gonna include these little plugs here that go into those holes to finish this off. Uh, let's see, dare I? Oh, I dare. Oh, that's upside down. Okay, that way it doesn't look unfinished, right? So now you have a three quarter helmet. That's what that looks like from the side. They're also gonna include, that's right, a clear shield for night riding. And they are both fog fog free and the fog free works pretty well because you can't really do a pin lock insert on these little sun visors and eye, eye visors. Okay, so that is the package in terms of this drop down visor, their anti-scratch 
and uh, they are anti-fog like I just told you. Okay, let's look at this chin bar. So like I said, this is more rigid than the old rubber one that just kind of bent in half on the original Covert, which is nice. If you're gonna take a rock, <clears throat> or God forbid, even if you go down, while it's not designed for impact protection and it's not crash tested in that full face configuration, it's crash tested like this, this is gonna do something in terms of abrasion protection. Uh, I'm sure of it. Okay, now on the inside, you have this vent that is switchable up and down. And you notice that this is just finished off better. This is upside down. But if I show you the old one, you'll see what I'm talking about here. <clears throat> okay, that's what the old one looked like. So it wasn't really finished, just had some felt and these vents were always open. Now we have uh, that polycarbonate that's more finished off and the switch. All right, let's put that out of the way. And that about does it for the exterior of the helmet. Let's jump on the inside and show you what we're working with. I imagine they'll also come out with kind of more custom chin bars with some designs like they did on the older helmets as time goes on. Okay, here we go. On the interior, you notice the neck roll has a few reflective patches that's gonna let people see you when they are riding up behind you. That's always a nice thing. Interior chin strap, double D ring closure. Let's go ahead and pop this open. We're gonna show you those speaker pockets, show you their quick fit 3D cheek pads, as well as their quick wick, moisture wicking removable washable liner inside of the cover. Overall, the finishes are nice, kind of like a neoprene feel. It's all laser cut seams um, or laser sealed, heat sealed. That's what it is, seams on the interior liner. So it's a nice finish here. Let's check out the cheek pads. <clears throat> The neck roll is all kind of one piece here. So one thing I like about Scorpion XO is that they're going to provide you with a five year warranty, which is about three years longer than the industry standard, uh, especially on a helmet in this sort of price range. So when you have moving parts, you have a chin bar that comes off, you got drop down visors. It's nice to know they're gonna stand behind your protection. You're gonna drop a couple hundred bones. They will be there for you in their warranty houses in California. So they have people uh, here to help and if you just have any other questions, there's a good team over there. Let's pull this cheek pad out of the way. And then the big upgrade here is that we're getting speaker pockets. The old coverts had no speaker pockets. And this one has mega speaker pockets that are 50 millimeters. So if you've got the big boy JBL 45 millimeter or the <clears throat> 40 millimeter JBLs, that you have trouble stuffing in other helmets. You should be dialed in here. There is your cheek pad. With those out of the way, you can see those enormous speaker pockets. There you are. And then we have a nice smooth section here that you'll be able to go with either a clamp or adhesive mount for your pack talk or whatever you're running at the moment. The EPS liner is multi-density and DOT approved. Here we go. Here is your comfort liner. Like I said, nice, clean, premium neoprene feel, moisture wicking, and you can pull it out and wash it once in a while do that so you don't stink. Okay, that's what that looks like. They went with the brow insert instead of snaps up here in the forehead. So you shouldn't have any hot spots. That's the back of it. Okay, interior. Uh, they do have ports up in the top where those crown vents are and then it is channeled all the way to the rear. And while there are no actual exhaust vents in the shell, they do have exhaust in the EPS. So hopefully suck some of that hot air out the back. That about does it, five-year warranty from Scorpion. It is the successor in the Covert lineup, the king of badassery. It is the Covert 2. You still got questions. Our rider support team is standing by to help you out make the right helmet buying decision. Over the phone, email, or live chat. That's right, you can talk to a human over at Speed Addicts. And that does it for today. We'll see you next time to find out what's in the crate.